Good afternoon, Jack here from Be Fit and Beyond. I wanted to talk today about the importance of writing your thoughts down if you are going through a hard time. If you're going through a hard time, if you are struggling from mental health issues, if you're depressed, if you have anxiety, or even if you just have general insecurities in your body confidence that you're not comfortable about sharing out with other people, all these things are extremely common and relatable. So. I just wanted to share the importance of writing this stuff down because when I wrote this stuff down it gave me such a great sense of clarity in my head on what was going on inside my mind. Although I still didn't know what was fully going on, just writing it down was a cathartic release because there's such a problem in today's society with how we feel and how we talk so openly about our feelings or the lack of it I should say. And the reason well, the reason some may, people may struggle with it is because they don't want to feel embarrassed, that they're more vulnerable, they don't want to feel judged, they don't want to feel like they're letting people down. These are all common thought patterns that spread across people and why we actually don't open up and talk about our feelings. And it's sad that today's society is like that. And it's not just as easy as, you know, do this, this and this, and this will fix this and this and this. It's so much more complicated than that, it's such a grey area. But just by kind of sharing my personal experiences, I hope it can kind of help people understand that there are little methods and tricks, well not tricks, but ways to go about trying to manage that as well. Uh, just putting you, putting you on the right step um, going forward and kind of opening up and talking about your feelings. Because I've, I've, I'm, I'm open about my feelings and I know how I communicate about my insecurities and my past and because of that I feel so much better for it when I do get it off my chest but that obviously when I started was no way near how I how I dealt with it I dealt with it in so many different ways so I just wanted to share with you uh, some of the thoughts that I wrote down and these are uh, organic thoughts that I have not edited they are as they were when I wrote them down uh, and they really helped me just when I read them back to understand, you know, how I was feeling and how that made me feel as well. Uh, and just even though it was really upsetting to read my thoughts back, it was a huge cathartic release. And that's one of the main problems with mental health. All these emotions build up and up and up inside us. And then it's this volcanic eruption where that's a mental breakdown. That's, oh, I don't know, that's you just going down the alcohol route or substance abuse route, whatever it is, however people deal with it, because we just bottle all these emotions up and our, our mind just can't take it anymore. So writing your thoughts down is a really, really good way to help that and just to make your mind a little bit clearer. So I'm just gonna uh, share with you, which I've never shared before, this has all been private stuff, but I feel now is the right time for me to share it. Uh, so here we go. The 3rd of June 2018. Today I have felt really depressed. My thoughts have been so negative and it really got me down. I'm so short of confidence within myself, even though people may laugh me off as I say that. It's all an act because I don't want people to know how I really am. Certain social situations, like at the Rugby Sevens yesterday, I really struggle with because I felt like I was an outsider and I can't talk to strangers. Fearing if I say something stupid, and make a tip to myself. I know I shouldn't care, but that's what confident people are like, and I'm certainly not one of those confident people. My head usually wins, and I hate it. I look at my mates around me, and I think how they are with, with the ladies, results and achievements, and how they are people, and I'm so jealous of them. But because I, although I do want them to do so well, and I'm happy for them, but it is hard, because when I see people, my friends doing well, and I'm not, it makes you feel even more incompetent at everything. And I think sometimes that who I've become, I have occasionally suicidal thoughts because I think I am of no value to anyone apart from my family. But I see that as something to hold on to in my darkest times. Ultimately, I'm not happy with who I am as a person. I do not like myself and I wish I was not myself, but I am. I have to live with it and tackle it as I see fit, which is why I want to travel to find happiness because wherever I am, whenever I'm in the UK, I'm not a happy person. So that was just a little bit of how I wrote my thoughts down at the time and I obviously haven't changed them because that's how they were and there's no point in changing them. That's who I was. And 
even though it was always upsetting for me reading it back, it just allowed me to understand what was going on inside my head a little bit more. So I hope uh, some of you can find uh, some help from that, even if you aren't suffering from mental health issues, even if it's just some body confidence, insecurities, and we all have them, it's all natural, whatever it is, just writing your thoughts down gives you a bit of greater sense of clarity in your head about what is going on. It might not fix it 100%, I mean it won't, being realistic, it won't, but it just is a little positive step in the right direction and in life that is what we always need, just those little baby steps to put us in that right direction. So I hope you found some of that helpful. Jack from Be Fit and Beyond, always happy to uh, share my message and to try, you know, we're all out there to help each other. So thank you for watching and until next time.